All right, Alden Davis here for our uh, weekly visit. And uh, let's see, today, let's see what we have here, Alden. Six affirmations. Okay, we're going to talk about fighting off. We're going to talk about fighting off inertia, which is an incredibly powerful force. Absolutely. And get moving. That's right. Now, we've been on this journey talking about the star power system, looking at five A's, my aspirations, my appearance, my abilities, my associations, and accountabilities, and wrapping those together to get me into action. Right. And last time we were together, we started to talk about the six affirmations of successful people. Now, our objective here is, during these economic times, to help people thrive, not just make it through, but actually have a great and successful time. Now, as we go into today's discussion, I've become increasingly concerned watching people who have been out of work now for a long time, and they get used to a certain level of inactivity, and it becomes harder and harder to get back in the game. It's second nature to you. You're used to it. Well, it, it does. And and here's what I've finally concluded. Um, you know, back in the 1600s, we had Sir Isaac Newton putting together the laws of motion. And his first law basically says an object at rest will stay at rest until acted upon by an external force. And what happens is when a person is um, out of the zone for too long, let's say you got laid off. We're still pushing almost 10% unemployment. And we've got two groups of people now. We've got people who have been out of work and all of a sudden starting to get comfortable with that level. And then we've got people still at work, but who are getting into their comfort zone and rut and not pushing anymore. And both of those are dangerous conditions. So today we're going to explore what does it take to break me out of the comfort zone? So take uh, this for example, right? You know, a person who's um, getting unemployment right now, they, they get used to a certain weekly check. Now, whatever that amount is, but let's say you just sum it up and a person can get used to a $20,000 a year life. They just balance it out, right? Right. They start cutting out all the extras and all of a sudden they figure out, wow, I can can can, make it. I can make it. I can sleep Cheetos once in a while. Well, and once you start to settle into that comfort zone, the question is, what's it going to take to get me out of my seat and back looking for work? And unfortunately, if you look at what Newton says, it's going to take some external force. And it's either going to be a significant emotional event or somehow I've got to dig deep down inside me to find something that's going to get me to move. And I'm seeing this happen with people now. It's, um, and I start to become concerned about how do we get people energized with the energy to get moving. You know, it's one thing if... Um, here you are, and you're, you're uh, recently out in the workforce, and you got unemployed, and you're getting stuck. And your wife comes home and says, gosh, Ray, we're going to have a baby. Now, that gives you some energy to kind of wake you up and push you back out yeah. into the world. <clears throat> but see, in, in the absence of that, I've got to be able to do that myself. So, folks, let's think about this. If there is no energy in your life, there is going to be no change. And if you're waiting for an external event to push you back out into the marketplace to create that internal shift, you could be waiting a long time. Now, when we do business consulting and you're trying to get an organization moving, we talk about where's the barbarian at the gate? The, 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 the army that's standing waiting to take your jobs from you, right? Okay. What is the strategic reason to get in motion? We'll talk about creating the burning platform. In other words, you're standing on this platform and it's burning and, oh, my goodness, we've got to do something. We've got to change how the right. organization works. And usually there's a strategic reason for making companies change. You know, we've been talking about, you and I will chat about how businesses work, right, and the right. local businesses here. And you can always find a strategic reason to start getting people and companies in motion. And this is what the new, the new um, management will do. But when it's just you sitting in your chair watching the Super Bowl yeah. and then waiting for the postgame show yeah. and then waiting for the Monday review yeah. and then waiting for the afternoon soaps yeah. and then waiting for Monday night football. Yeah. Pretty much described my life there. <laughs> and then you're saying, well, shoot, you know, I can make this work. Why do I need to get back out and go to work? Yeah. I'm bumping along at this level. So, you know, we talked about the six affirmations of successful people. And, folks, if you go out to myvaluetree.com, 
you can print off this list, and you can print off a copy of the star power model. We said the first affirmation of successful people is, I can describe my picture of success. Well, you know, I've been saying this to people. I did a, a great conference with the Wire Association two weeks ago. And by the way, hello to all of them okay. out there. And it's all talking about forward-looking visions. But, you know, I sit and start to say, well, great, you can have a good vision. But if you can't get out of your chair, mm -hmm. if you can't find that energy to move you, mm -hmm. this doesn't mean anything. Well, let me go back up here because I'm going to keep you after the news. But, all right, the um, – when you're talking about getting used to basically sitting around, I don't think that's anybody's vision of success. So what do you do? Just lose the vision or alter the vision? In other words, you know, I'm sitting there, oh, I'm doing pretty good. This is my idea. He's sitting at home. Not bad. I like it. I think, and that's, I'm I'm concerned about this, and I've been spending a lot of thinking about it because I'm watching this happen to people. After they've been getting that unemployment check and they start to say, well, shoot, this job out here. I can make almost as much on unemployment as I can on this entry level job. So I'm just going to wait till unemployment runs out before I get back in the game. And that kind of puts you up against the wall, doesn't it? Well, it does. And if you believe Newton's laws of motion, an object at rest will stay at rest until acted upon by an external force. Hunger works. It's going to take hunger, and my encouragement to everybody is let's not wait till it's too late. All right, well, hang on to that. I'll, we'll do some more after reading some of the – myvaluestree.com. All right, if you want to go to the website, we're going to keep you after your – you're staying after school. It's a 727 on WTIC. So we are – thank you, Sam. We are talking to Inertia. That's kind of what we're talking here this morning. Alden uh, Davis is here. Myvaluetree.com is his website, and Alden is uh, well-known as a uh, motivational speaker and kind of changes the way you think about some things, and that's what we're doing on Saturday mornings when uh, when, when we can. We have Alden just come in because I know a lot of you are in, in kind of dire straits. And, I, you know, in a sense, Alden, I think we're this week we're talking about kind of just – you know, visualizing what you want to be, what success is, and how you're concerned because there are more people that seem to be, you know, as this economy drags on, people saying, you know, this ain't so bad. I can handle this, and why should I go out and find a job? I can get this for sitting around the house, whereas I go out to work, and, and that's concerning you a lot. It is. This is – I don't believe an exciting life is one that's just getting by. It's not about settling just because that's all I have in front of me. This is about people being able to create an exciting and vibrant future for themselves, something where they have increasing choice in life, something where they uh, have a burn to get up every morning and enjoy what they're doing. You know, motivation incites me into action. Now, we've been talking about the uh, six affirmations of successful people, and we said the first affirmation is, I can describe my picture of success. Well, it's great to be able to describe the picture of success, but if I am stuck in my comfort zone, mm -hmm. that picture of success has to become so intense and personal yeah. that it forces me to get up into action. And that's what we've been looking at today. If there is no external energy, there is no change for me. So the encouragement today is... Be on the lookout for the significant emotional event in your life, that external force that's going to force you to get into action, or own your future and start to find something in your life that really will get you up and moving. Becoming too comfortable mm -hmm. and becoming too settled causes us to stop short of reaching our full potential. Now, as we were talking about the six affirmations, we had uh, two more to cover. And successful people know their professional aspirations. They, they know their craft, and they know what their craft is capable of achieving. Now, I'm setting that aside from my, my picture of success, right? That's different. This continues, It's a means to, perhaps. It is. Okay. It is. The, um, I think the two run in parallel. I, I was in, right, I was exactly. in a... Um, a uh, pastry shop the other day and the person was all excited about the goods they had been producing now you know wow. their professional aspiration i would assume from that is is baking now i don't know what their ultimate picture of success is whether it's owning their own pastry shop or pastry catering or yeah. starting uh, the next um pepperidge farm but, but the the two go hand in hand hopefully your professional aspirations tend to be coupled with your picture of success i would agree uh, but the aspirations uh, usually are a means to a bigger end. 
The other one is successful people invest energy in their networks, development, and opportunities. Now, again, here we're talking about investing energy. This means I actually have to get up and move. I have to get up and go somewhere. I have to put myself in a situation that may be seen as uncomfortable. I have to start believing that I am worthy of something more. I have to get up and move. Right. And if I get too comfortable, right. it's easy to let opportunities slip by. So as the economy continues to uh, find its new comfort zone that it's finding, which yeah. seems to be around 9% unemployment, <laughs> folks, people are going to succeed during this time. People are going to find new ways of success. People are still going to have happy and exciting lives. Whether you're in a job right now or looking for a job, the encouragement today is stay in the game. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Continue to push and stretch. Because if you're not pushing and stretching yourself, then we know that an object tends to come to rest. And once you stop, it's incredibly hard or increasingly difficult to get back in the game. All right. So I wish you all the best this week and look forward to the next time well, we're together. Well, probably next week, I'm guessing here. It's a 740. At least that's what I think is happening. 743 on WTIC. We'll take a short break. Alden, thank you much. Alden Davis, by the way, myvalutree.com is his website, and you can find a lot of stuff there. Uh, plus a podcast of our, our little visit here. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, so there you are. 743 on WTIC.